ProPilot Assist is a hands-on driver assistance system that provides limited lane keeping and throttle and brake control assistance. It is not a self-driving system. ProPilot Assist uses Intelligent Cruise Control, or ICC, to maintain distance from preceding vehicles and Steering Assist to help keep the vehicle near the center of the lane. To turn ProPilot Assist on, push this switch. Accelerate or decelerate to your desired speed. Then push the set switch. These indicators will illuminate. When clear, consistent lane markers are present, ProPilot will use Steering Assist to provide small steering corrections that help keep your vehicle near the center of the lane. When Steering Assist activates, a chime sounds and these indicators turn green. When it deactivates, a chime sounds twice and the indicators turn gray. If a vehicle is detected ahead, Steering Assist will operate, even at low speeds. If there are no vehicles detected ahead, Steering Assist activates at speeds above approximately 60 km per hour. Use this switch to turn Steering Assist on and off. ICC can continue to function. This setting can also be adjusted in the Vehicle Information Display. If the wiper switch is in the high speed position, steering assist will be canceled after a period of time. Intelligent Lane Intervention, or ILI, is an additional lane keeping feature used by ProPilot Assist. If the vehicle approaches the lane markers, ILI sounds a warning, vibrates the steering wheel, and the lane marker on the display turns yellow and flashes. The system briefly applies the brakes to help return the vehicle to the traveling lane. Another feature of ProPilot Assist is intelligent cruise control. When your speed is set, ICC monitors the speed of and distance to the vehicle ahead. If a slower moving vehicle is detected, ICC will reduce your vehicle speed. If you come closer to the vehicle ahead, a chime sounds and an indicator flashes. Depress the brake pedal to maintain a safe distance. When the vehicle ahead slows to a stop, Yours can stop automatically. If your vehicle is stopped for less than three seconds and the vehicle ahead begins moving, your vehicle can begin moving again automatically. If you were stopped for longer, this message is displayed. Press resume or depress the accelerator pedal to continue system operation and begin moving. There are three different distance settings that can be used, long, middle, and short. Push this switch to cycle through the distance options. Press this button to turn the system off. Press and hold this button to activate conventional cruise control mode. You can change between the two modes at any time simply by turning the system off and back on. ProPilot's NaviLink, if so equipped, provides speed limit assist and speed adjust by route. When speed limit assist detects a change in the speed limit, the new speed limit is indicated here. The direction of this arrow indicates whether the new speed limit is higher or lower than your set speed. Press this switch up to accept a higher speed or down to accept a lower speed. The vehicle set speed will be changed to the new speed limit. To turn speed limit assist on or off, use these buttons to select settings, driver assistance, speed limit assist, then press OK to toggle the system to auto, manual, or off. If you select Auto, the vehicle speed is adjusted automatically when Speed Limit Assist detects a new speed limit, and this indicator is displayed. Auto Mode is only available on freeways. When using ProPilot's NaviLink while on the freeway, and the vehicle ahead slows to a stop, yours can stop automatically. If your vehicle is stopped for less than 30 seconds and the vehicle ahead begins moving, your vehicle can begin moving again automatically. On the freeway, Speed Adjust by Route uses information provided by the navigation system to help reduce the vehicle speed when approaching tight curves, junctions, or exits. This icon appears when the system is active. For best results, a route should be set using in-vehicle navigation. To change Speed Adjust by Route settings, use these buttons to select Settings, Driver Assistance, Speed Adjust by Route, then press OK to toggle the system on or off. ProPilot Assist also monitors the steering wheel to ensure the driver has at least one hand on the wheel at all times. 
If no hands are detected, the No Hands on Wheels sequence will begin. First, this warning will appear. Next, the warning will flash, along with a series of escalating audible alerts and a brake pulsation. If still no steering input is detected, an emergency alert sounds, and the vehicle will slowly be brought to a stop in the traveling lane. If steering input is detected during any of these warnings, the No Hands on Wheel sequence will be canceled. To ensure proper function of the system, keep these areas clean and free of obstruction. If any of these areas are blocked, this indicator and or this warning message may be displayed. The indicator will flash when only the camera is blocked. When safely parked, clear any obstructions to the radar and camera areas. If the problem persists after clearing any obstructions, it is recommended you visit a Nissan dealer for service. If ProPilot Assist malfunctions, it will be turned off automatically. A chime will sound, and this warning will appear. Stop the vehicle in a safe place, turn the engine off, and restart the engine. If the warning continues, there may be a malfunction. Although normal driving can be continued, the system should be inspected. It is recommended you visit a Nissan dealer for this service. Please see your owner's manual for important safety information, system limitations, and additional operating and feature information.